Hello, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel All Classes. I'm Dr. K. K. Misra. This video tutorial is on multiple choice questions on working capital management, one of the important papers in MBA final year. This will help you, the students who have opted this paper and who are to write their examinations finally, which are scheduled to be held very soon. Now, directly come to the question. Question number one, which of the following would be consistent with an aggressive approach to financing working capital? Options are A. Financing short-term needs with short-term funds. B. Financing permanent inventory buildup with long-term debt. C. Financing seasonal needs with short-term funds. D. Financing some long-term needs with short-term funds. Correct option is D. Financing some long-term needs with short-term funds. Now, question number two. Which of the following would be consistent with a conservative approach to financing working capital? Options are A. Financing short-term needs with short-term funds. B. Financing short-term needs with long-term debt. C. Financing seasonal needs with short-term funds. D. Financing some long-term needs with short-term funds. To my knowledge, correct option is B, financing short-term needs with long-term debt. Now move to next slide. Question number three. Which of the following would be consistent with the hedging, maturity matching approach to financing working capital? Options are A, financing short-term needs with short-term funds. B, financing short-term needs with long-term debt. C, financing seasonal needs with long-term funds. D. Financing some long-term needs with short-term funds. Correct option is A. Financing short-term needs with short-term funds. Now, question number four. Which of the following is a basic principle of finance as it relates to the management of working capital? Options are A. Profitability varies inversely with risk. B. Liquidity moves together with risk. C. Profitability moves together with risk. D. Profitability moves together with liquidity. Correct option is C. Profitability moves together with risk. Now move to next slide. Question number 5. To financial analysts, working capital means the same thing as DAS. Options are A. Total assets. B. Fixed assets. C. Current assets. D. Current assets minus current liabilities. Correct option is D. Current assets minus current liabilities. Now, question number 6. Which of the following illustrates the use of a hedging approach to financing assets? Options are A. Temporary current assets financed with long term liabilities. B. Permanent working capital financed with long term liabilities. C. Short term assets financed with equity. D. All assets financed with a mixture of 50% equity and 50% long term debt. Correct option is B. Permanent working capital with finance, financed with long term liabilities. Viewers, let me tell you that by and large, correct options are highlighted here. In case of any discrepancy found in any question will be corrected in my narration. Question number 7. In deciding the optimal level of current assets for the firm, management is confronted with dash. Options are A. A trade-off between profitability and risk. B. A trade-off between liquidity and risk. C. A trade-off between equity equity and debt. D. A trade-off between short-term versus long-term borrowing. Correct option is A. A trade-off between profitability and risk. Question number 8. Which of the following statements is most correct? Options are A. For small companies, long-term debt is principal source of external financing. B. Current assets of the typical manufacturing firm account for over half of its total assets. C. A strict adherence to the maturity matching approach to financing 
would call for all current assets to be financed solely with current liabilities. D. Similar to the capital structure management, working capital management requires the financial manager to make a decision and not address the issue again for several months. Correct option is B. Current assets of the typical manufacturing firm account for over half of its total assets. Question number 9. The amount of current assets that varies with seasonal requirements is referred to as that's working capital options are a permanent b net c temporary d gross correct option is c temporary now question number 10 having defined working capital as current assets it can be further classified according to options are a financing method and time b rate of return and financing method c time and rate of return d components and time correct option is d components and time question number 11 your firm has a philosophy that is analogous to the hedging approach which of the following is the most appropriate form of financing a new capital investment in plant and equipment options are a trade credit b six month bank notes C. Accounts payable. D. Common stock equity. Correct option is D. Common stock equity. Question number 12. Under a conservative financing policy, a firm would use long term financing to finance some of the temporary current assets. What should the firm do when a dip in temporary current assets causes total assets to fall below the total long term financing? Options are A. Use the excess funds to pay down long term debt. B. Invest the excess long term financing in marketable securities. C. Use the excess funds to repurchase common stock. D. Purchase additional plant and equipment. If you compare, correct option is B. Invest the excess long term financing in marketable securities. Now, question number 13. Which of the following statements is correct for a conservative financing policy for a firm related to a former aggressive policy? Options are A. The firm uses long term financing to finance all fixed and current assets. B. The firm will see an increase in its expected profits. C. The firm will see an increase in its risk profile. D. The firm will increase its dividends per share this period. Correct option is A. The firm uses long term financing to finance all fixed and current assets. Now move to next slide. Question number 14. Which of the following statements is correct for an aggressive financing policy for a firm relative to a former conservative policy? Options are A. The firm will use long term financing to finance all fixed and current assets. B. The firm will see an increase in its expected profits. C. The firm will see a decline in its risk profile. D. The firm will need to issue additional common stock this period to finance the assets. Correct option is B. The firm will see an increase in its expected profits. Friends, if you like this video tutorial, please do not forget to subscribe and press the bell button and pass it on to others those who will are in need and will be in need in future now question number 15 how can a firm provide a margin of safety if it cannot borrow on short notice to meet its needs options are a maintain a low level of current assets especially cash and marketable securities b shorten the maturity schedule of financing c increasing the level of fixed assets especially plant and equipment d lengthening the maturity schedule of financing correct option is d lengthening the maturity schedule of financing question number 16 if a company moves from a conservative working capital policy to an aggressive policy it should expect options are a liquidity to decrease whereas expected profitability would increase b expected profitability to increase whereas risk would decrease 
See, liquidity would increase, whereas risk would also increase. D, risk and profitability to decrease. Correct option is A, liquidity to decrease, whereas expected profitability would increase. Now, question number 17. To financial analyst, net working capital means the same as same thing as dash options are a total assets b fixed assets c current assets d current assets minus current liabilities total assets question number 18 the amount of current assets required to meet a firm's long term minimum needs is referred to as dash working capital options are a permanent b temporary c net d gross correct option is a permanent question number 19 risk as it relates to working capital means that there is jeopardy to the firm for not maintaining sufficient current assets to dash options are a meet its cash obligations as they occur and take advantage of prompt payment discounts b support the proper level of sales and take prompt payment discounts c maintain current and acid test ratios at or above industry norms d meet its cash obligations as they occur and support the proper levels of sales correct option is d meet its cash obligations as they occur and support the proper level of sales now question number 20 which of the following is the most appropriate non-spontaneous form of financing the excess seasonal current asset needs? Options are A. Trade credit B. Six-month notes C. Accounts payable D. Common stock equity Correct option is B. Six-month bank notes So this was all about this video tutorial. More questions will be given in my upcoming video tutorial. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice time. Best of luck.